Hi everyone and welcome to this Friday's webcast and uh, I'm really happy because I'm actually doing the webcast on a Friday because it's a Friday webcast but I know the frequency is not what it used to be. I'm trying to get to as many of um, these webcasts as possible. I'm really glad a lot of you enjoyed the um, one card per year reading and today I'm going to give you the reading with our regular deck, which is the deck that you guys are really used to. So you will know and love it. I don't think I'm playing with a uh, full deck, but I don't know. That's kind of fitting, isn't it? <laughs> so let's see what your weekend forecast. Oh my God, this haircut is just kind of like the layers are like messing me up. Wow. Nine of clubs. Big time career and money card. Okay, so if, if you have been planning projects, if you have been working toward goals, now's the time to implement them because whatever ideas you have at the current moment are ones that could take you very, very far. Okay, this, this could have been stuff that you've been starting to work on in the fall. And anything that you've built over the past four to six months, now's the time to really start implementing it and actually starting to generate income from it. So, so if you, if some of you have been struggling financially, uh, this card shows that money is going to be coming your way. Nine of spades. Okay, so we have a double nine. This is nine of, uh, double nine. So within like nine days, nine weeks, you got to just make sure that your stress levels don't hit a high note. I have a feeling that some of you over the last week have been so stressed out that you guys were on the verge of like mentally going nuts. Okay. Um, this card shows that while you're going to be working quite a bit, you have to take very special care of your health, your stress, and not going too hard. Um, Ace of spades. Okay. This is a, a beginning of a new contract and ending of a new uh, ending of the old. So you're going to have a chance to sign or do something with a very big contract, but it's also showing like a, a very new, um, a very new direction for you in terms of your work. So while I feel you're going to be making a good amount of money or opportunities are going to be coming to you, it's showing that there could be um, other opportunities that you were doing that are kind of falling apart. So I don't want you to get stressed out by this, but I'm just saying that you have to realize that once new doors open for you, this is going to be the close uh, of old doors and probably not in the best way. So just just be aware of that. Um, let me do a clarification card. Okay, so it's going to say that possibly you may feel insecure about making this big new step because this is a new leap, a new step, a new leap of faith. So some of your insecurities might be coming out um, to take this new leap of faith. But this is going to lead to everything that you really want. And, and this is a meeting of the mind. It's a meeting of two different entities, you and another person. Um, and this is in business or your career or creative endeavor that is actually going to be the right fit for you moving forward. And it's going to meet you exactly at 50%. So if you are used to doing things where you're doing 70%, they're doing 30%, or you're doing all the work in a situation, this is where you're actually going to have a team around you or people around you that are going to be just as diligent and forthright and actually putting in effort just like you're doing. So this is a really, really good thing. Ten of, ten of I want to say cups because the tarot are actually derived from playing cards. This is a ten of hearts, and this is showing me that this is going to bring you the happiness you deserve because all that stress that I saw on the cards for you, it's showing me that you're expending way too much energy and working. It's time to work smarter and not harder. Um, so when you team up with this other, it, this other entity, whatever this is, um, whether that's merging of a company or you're taking on a new client or a new contract, it's going to actually make your work a lot easier to where you're happier and you could expend the time doing things you love to do and being uh, free of some of that worry and anxiety. So I hope you enjoyed um, this little session. I know it's a little bit uh, confusing because you have a lot of good stuff coming and then you're going to have a lot of stuff leaving. So just be prepared for that. Also, it's Mercury retrograde. Mercury's in retrograde. If you guys have been feeling misunderstood, having misunderstandings, electronic issues, meetings being canceled, um, delays, travel issues, 
um, know that you are in a period where we're going to be in this for an, about another two weeks. So just be patient. And I always say to blame it on the retrograde if something uh, goes wrong, because nine times out of 10, those things will be worked out and fixed and smoothed over. So don't let it let you think it's a final decision. Um, I am also going to be at the women's Expo, the 13th Annual Women's Expo in Tom's River at the uh, Pine Belt Arena tomorrow, uh, performing at 1 o'clock. So I hope to see some of you there. This is a free show put on by WJRZ, and um, I'm really looking forward to meeting everyone and doing the show for all of you. So I hope to see you very, very soon, and um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And always subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get the readings as they come out, because you know I am not always consistent. So if you subscribe, you will get these in your inbox when they come out. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.